Hi, I'm Walter Wichman, uh, general manager of Wichman Ag Supply and partner in Wichman Ranch here in central Montana. Uh, we've been out feeding today with the Hustler 5000 chainless. Uh, I haven't cut net all day. It's chewed it off. Chewed it off just, just as good as a bale processor would and cows are eating same utilization as a as a bale processor but with half of the half the input cost and half of the operating cost um, let's see. Uh, reasons we're reasons we are selling and using hustlers they're low maintenance just like they say I've run bale processors for 10-15 years and this is the simplest design I think on the market today that you can feed cows with. And out here right now, I don't know if you can see, but there's two or three feet on the level. You can't get out here with a pickup to feed. So your bale bed is not, if you don't have a bale bed, this is this is your, your low cost option. Um, yeah, another thing is with a bale bed up in Montana, we use five foot wide balers. With this, it's a five foot wide bale, but it's only making a two foot windrow. So you don't have that those cows walking down and stomping that hay in like you would a traditional bale bed. Uh, other, other things that we, sh we like about this machine is in today's day and age, due to regulations, farm equipment is required to have the same emission systems that cars and pickups do, which if anybody that's ever used a new tractor knows they don't work. With this, I can run this with a 75 horse tractor which doesn't require the DEF fluid. So you're saving the initial cost of a tractor, you're saving the breakdown cost when you use a bigger tractor and it, the emission system fails after one winter, and you're saving fuel. So you're saving, they're just, they save so much more money. In the in the long term and even in the short term, you're saving saving probably thousands of dollars by using using a simpler system like this versus a bale processor.